What up guys, uh, 04 Haugen here shooting our next video, which will be how to create a six star in about six hours. So if you're newer or maybe you, see when you get to a higher level and you've got probably 10 six stars, you can farm a bunch of stuff. You just start getting so much junk that you like do it because you have to. You farm so many sanctums that you get a whole bunch of eggies and you feed them to three stars and you get to make sixes for free basically all the time because you're farming for you get your four star incarnations you get all your other junk that just comes with it and uh so it's really not too and then when you get on the back end you're kind of like i've probably got eight eight to ten six stars i don't even have runes on them so on the back end you kind of realize like okay well you can only have at the most 15 people for pvp you could start to dedicate people towards your uh guild raid teams which is a great idea. The problem is, if your guild already clears it, then you don't need to build for that. Like, there was a time where me and Mitch were like, fuck, we need to start to make guild raid people so we can consistently beat 12. And then everyone just started contributing, and now it's not an issue. You know, about five of us or six of us can clear the whole thing. So, uh, but that doesn't... Okay, so when you're new, you need to create six stars. Like, I got into it with uh, a good, like, a real-life friend of mine... And I was like, well, build Ardo when you're new. He'll help you heal and blah, blah, blah. I trans my Ardo, and I kind of regret it. I don't use him. But what working with Ardo would do is that would allow you to progress without, like, allow you to do that where, like, while you're waiting for a Divina or you're waiting for an Atmos or you're waiting. You know, Blith is a good example, too. Like, build a Blith if you want to do him great. Build, you know, fuse a Zemmer if you got nobody better. But once you start to get better people, you're going to bench those. But you still need those six p stars to help you progress, right? And then uh, maybe you need them for different sanctums, you know? Maybe you're just like, fuck, I just need one more stronger healer or one more DPS for Drake. So, considering we have a double experience all week this week with half price keys, it's going to be uh, hopefully benefit someone this week to be able to figure out how to do this or how I've done it in the past to... Uh, make the most out of the double exp let me get this going real quick and then we will get into it so i got my new 62 lucius lucius and uh lucius who cares lucius and um he looks strong well see that's what got me off so when i started that i saw that uh Grafid had a 66 lucius um on my friends list and he was talking about trans and him well he's like i could do it in a few days well he already did it so we're gonna have to go take a look at his later when we put the video up but how about we go ahead and i haven't ran this comp either but i'm pretty sure it's gonna do okay so um yeah how to make a six star in one day and and you could probably make two a day if you had enough time but you'll get burned out really quick so here's what you need you need unknown scrolls, time, and a double experience event, and that's it. Um, so what you're going to do is if you see it coming, the, the notice is always a day early. Um, if there's an endless event, that's always a good time to, to bust out some six stars because it'll do an endless event with double experience. Or sometimes there are events that, uh, like, excuse me, that'll pay you for evolving people. So those events also are a good time to uh, level this stuff up. So what's this time? Oh, 104, not bad. Anyway, so what you're going to need to do is going into it, you're going to have buy everything you can from the shop. I'm not talking about premium scrolls or anything. Get as many of your incarnations as you can, the four stars. Um, use all your eggies to evolve the highest things you have. So what you first need to do, you need to work your way down. So Take your five star or the person you want a six star and get them five before the event starts. So let's just say I was going to do, um, I don't know, Saiho here. I would get her to five star. I would try to before the event starts. She could be level one, but you want to try to get her to five star, get her close. And then, <clears throat> then you want to work your way down. So you know you need five max four stars and you need 20 three stars maxed and then you need like 62 stars 
so I don't ever feed crap. I mean, like right now I have seven or 800 unknown scrolls, and that's the most I've ever had because I evolve all the way up from one stars. That's what I would like you to do if you're watching this video and trying to make a six star. Here's what you do. Get as high up as you can. Coming into the event, you need to evolve as much as you possibly can, everything in your inventory, because you need space, and then you need to summon. And you need to summon and leave about uh, 40 slots left. So if you don't have your max hero slots, I would suggest buying that. Um, super beneficial, like, just do it. <coughs> Some people don't because they hate scrolling through all their people, which was a good point. But uh, if you're looking to maximize this stuff, um, I'll get into it later why it's best, but I would suggest buying them. You, you kind of have to to make this work. So you're going to evolve everything you can, then you're going to summon everything else you can, leaving about 40 spaces empty. So at that point, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the map. So now you're prepped for double experience. You're going to have a bunch of one stars, a bunch of two stars, and a bunch of three stars, plus some evolved stuff. Go into scenario. Okay, let me let me back out of this real quick. Oh, so go into scenario, and you're going to do something like this. If I were leveling uh, fodder to make a six star, I would start just to make it easier, so you're not spending time scrolling. I would start down here, and I go to level, and I hit the opposite. And what I first want to do is I, I go to a map that I know I can clear. So early on, I used to have to use Glenn and Lynn. And those two can clear, could clear the map for me when they were the only two six stars I had. So I was able to bring three fodder, three people that I was looking to level up and use as food. And I would come to scenario. If you're new, <clears throat> this was the best spot for me to grind. I always go to find like the most efficient place. This was because... None of these people stun. A few of them have a, a shield or two, but it was pretty easy to beat. So what I would do is I would put in one person that I know could beat it. Um, let's just see, Zenon. And then I'd come down here, and I would go all my one stars. So because here's why. Like, why would you put one stars, right? Well, you don't want to have to spend time scrolling through all your people. And you're going to need one stars to evolve when you're done with your double experience. So you get prepped, you have all these, these one stars, and just start up by going to level, search it by opposite, and load in what you got. Take these in. If you can't do one person, two's fine too, but you go through and you just do it as much as you can. It's not double experience. I shouldn't even hit ready. But uh, auto replay is better. So... Even if you can sit there in front of the screen, you're better off running three people instead of one. So if you run three people and it takes three runs, that's quicker than running one person per run because the load time gets cut in half when you don't have to go back in and select someone else, even if they're at the bottom of the list. So if you're losing a run, though, if it takes four runs to do four, then uh, sometimes that's better. So you kind of got to tweak out on figuring out what the best way for you to do this is, but time is your friend. Like you can't, you want these runs to be as quick as you can. So like in this case, I would not want to use this. Like this is slow. You want to look to average about 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds <clears throat> for, uh, for your run. And so as these people level up, you'll either, you'll either, um, God dang it. As they level up, you'll pull out a one star, you'll add in a few more. You know, I like to do things very like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but just like be super organized. Like I know wherever I grind, it's gonna take like, how many runs specifically it's gonna take per three star and per two star. So, God damn, I'm getting, up, I'm getting a little deep. Okay, this is a beginner video because experienced people don't need to sweat building new, new six stars. So you've got your fodder. You're going to go and you're going to go to team formation and do them by one so that every time you're not here going way down, 
So what would make sense is to start like with the five star. So if you just leveled up a five star, let me show you, for example, I'm doing Vecchi. I'm doing Vecchi because I have enough food to make her a six star. She's got her leader and I've got five more. So she's going to be red by the time I max her. So what I would do is I told you, you're going to start with your five star and you're going to have your four stars too. Well, I'd get the five, I'd get the fours ready and I'd make sure the other fours, I've already evolved them. But if they were one star, I would get them max as well. Then you come down and you know, okay, so you know you need five four stars and you need 23 stars. So if you do this, it prevents you from having to scroll all the way down like you would every time to go all the way down to your three, three stars and add a three star or two star. If you just build all the way up from ones, twos, threes, then when you're done, you're going to go into your... After double experience is over, you're going to go in. Hopefully, you're going to have some space. Well, you're going to have space because you're going to have max level two stars. You might run out during the event. You're going to have a bunch of max level two stars and a bunch of max level three stars. And you're going to also have gotten drops while you're farming for two stars and three stars. So you would then take your two star, you'd click two two stars and evolve them. <clears throat> But you start at your one stars. Those one stars that you leveled up earlier, you're like, why would I run one stars? Well, what I used to do is I would run one person, I'd bring a friend, and I'd run four one stars. And in one level, I could get four of them maxed. So start at the one stars, evolve your, all your one stars up, then go to your twos because you have a, a bunch of max twos. Evolve all your twos up. Go to your threes, evolve all your threes up, and so on. Then you get to your fours, and you'll have your four fodder to, uh, to push forward. Now, this sounds stupid, but I've done it plenty of times in a three-hour block. So if you can prep by evolving what you have, if you can get your count on how many, which four stars you need, let's say you don't have incarnations, right? If you don't have four-star incarnations, well, what are you going to do? You're going to be like, I, if you only have one four-star incarnation, you're going to be like, okay, well, instead of needing 20 max level three stars, I'm going to need uh, 25 because I have to make the five stars too. So then you're going to take this person, like before you go into your event, you're like, I don't have any. I just did it yesterday on double experience, but I want to do another one. So you're going to evolve something like this. And then what I like to do is, uh, or what I would do is I would take this guy, this random like piece of shit food, <clears throat> and I would lock him. And I'd lock him so I knew that he was my four star food. I'd do that and I'd lock him and I'd go into the battle and I'd get him to max level. So you need to know your count and then you're like, okay, well, I have to level my four stars, I need five of those. I have to level my three stars, I need 20 of those. Your two stars, you need 60. And so if you think about it, that's not hard to do. During a double experience event, you could easily, during three hours, you could easily max four fours, your 1-5, your 23s, and your 62s. But if you don't have one stars maxed, you're going to kind of be in trouble. You're going to be like using these ones to evolve themselves and be wasting time. Now, what happens at this point is you'll have a bunch of ones, a bunch of twos, threes, and fours maxed. <clears throat> and then you go to summon. Like I said, you're going to go to summon. You're going to feed your ones up to your to those bunch of ones that we had you level what seemed like for no reason in the beginning of the event. And if you try this, I guarantee you, you might need to watch this a, a time or two to understand kind of what I'm saying. But if you can do this, if I were to go from this moment right now and summon, I wouldn't, I don't have the three stars to do it. But if I had everybody built, now double experience is over. You go into summon, you summon, you max your shit out. <coughs> Evolve up your ones. Now you're going to have a bunch of two food. You can come over to your twos, evolve your twos. Now you're going to have a bunch of three food. Come over to your threes. You know you've got 33s or 23s, so you've got enough. You evolve those up, and now you're going to have 24 stars that are, that are like this guy, 24 stars that are level one, and you're going to put them into your uh, four four stars. So like for me, they would be vec the Vecchis. You know, so I'd go find my Vecchis, and I'd do that. Now... If you're new, you know, don't care about getting the, you can see like 
Pierjan, I'm going to actually end up saving him because he uh, is for the new Fusion, which I'll talk about in the update here. But you can see this guy is just like evolution food. Um, I don't want to do him, though. I want to do Vicky. But I'm just saying at this point, that's when you would... Where the fuck was I going? Um, okay, so if you're new, you want to save, like, see all these Misties, see all these freaking Lamus Priests. It's like, I need one more to max him, and I still wouldn't have the leader. But I would take this one, and I would put him, this one up here, I would put him, uh, make him a five-star. Then I'd take these four and the fifth one that I'm missing, and I would evolve them, and when a four-star goes into feed itself, when you feed it as a five, as a four-star, I'm sorry, as a five-star, I would level these four down here, and when I fed them into that one, each one would give you 100% skill up. Now, <coughs> when you're new, do not worry about that. If you have Blit, if you have Ardo, and you have dupes, yes, put them into there. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have dupes, don't worry about it. Just make them. You know, I, I don't have a use for Griff. I don't have a use for this other guy. My only reason for holding on to those is because they might get buffed, and I'm going to build them anyway because that's just what I do in games like this. So I've got, like, Melanie maxed. I've got a bunch of other people that I feed max. See this other guy's next, this E-O-I-N guy? Like, I have six of him. So I can max him with... Uh, I won't have his leader, but I'll have his max. Instead of using that to prevent you, just tweak out. You just get crazy on this and uh, make a six star a day. If not, you can at least, you can make one per three hour block. I can guarantee you that. If you can't do that, you could definitely do it throughout a two period block. But you have to have the scrolls because you're going to burn through about two or three hundred scrolls doing this. You're going to summon all your scrolls. It's going to still not be enough. And then you're going to have to go back and do it again because evolving the ones and two stars is going to take forever. But it's a super effective way to do it. Uh, hope this video helped in some way. I can't really... I'm starting to babble a little and I got some deep ass shit I got to get into here with my uh, <clears throat> character reviews for the light and dark heroes that came out. Uh, the light was asked for and I six the dark one. So, uh, or trans the dark one. So I'm going to get into that and touch on the... Uh, hero review but i always wanted to put this video up for the beginners or the newer people that are like fuck man it's such a struggle it's not you can do it it doesn't require any type of throwing money at it buying packs anything like that in fact you're better off not buying packs early on you need heroes yes you would it would be nice to get you that atmos or something else but the way the game works now is they give you stuff early on so instead of doing that instead of like trying to buy packs with summons Oh, you're also going to need energy, right? So instead of buying packs, you're going to need gems to, to buy your keys to make your runs. So make sure you have enough keys for that. So it will take some keys, but that's the other thing. You can also save mailbox energy coming up to events, like knowing double experience runs about every week or every other week. Um, you can save your keys up for that. But if you're lacking keys or resources, that could be an issue as well. But... Um, but yeah, bust the six stars out. Bust the six stars out, then then you'll be able to farm better runs. And then you'll be able to, then you're gonna get the drops you need. You're gonna get the heroes you'd like. You're gonna get dupes of the heroes you like. And then yeah, those people will be sitting on the bench later, but they're gonna help their stepping stones, and you need those. You know, unless you just, you know, got crazy luck and get people out of the gate, it's like, don't leave it up to luck. Take some skill, take some dedication, focus. And tweak out on getting well or doing doing well early on. And uh, yeah, and then you, you know what? Then you'll be beating me. You know, you'll be like, hey, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the videos, you know, 04 Haugen. But uh, I'm going to start making my own because, you know, I beat you. But uh, anyway, I got to get on my feet. Got to take a quick walk. But, uh, but yeah, where's my little video thing? Oh, there it is. Okay, fuck, that was way too long. Way too long for this video. But I did get into the stuff in the beginning. Maybe I'll split that up. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like, like, subscribe, comment. Maybe there's something that I left out about here on how to push, bust out a six star. But, uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. 
and I will catch you on the next one.